Hey Tubes, I made a lot of videos of these engines here, these uh, hit and miss. And I never realized, you know, a lot of you really don't know how they work or, or what the concept is of them. So I, I'm going to do a little video and explain to you how they operate. I got, I got uh, Mike here, say hey Mike. What's going on, Why do I keep calling you Mick? It's Mike. Mike. Anyway, he knows more about these engines than anybody I know. But let me show you a few of the components that I'll tell you. Right here, if you look, if you look at the valves, you'll notice here's your exhaust and here's your intake. But this is actually the push rod. This this is a a main component that does all the work here. So uh, keep that in mind. The intake doesn't have a push rod, it just has a very soft spring, you push in with your finger and that opens and closes just from vacuum of the, the compression stroke. But anyway, uh, explain to them how they, this actually works, Mike. Alright, well, basically you got these, first you got these big, big ass flywheels that weigh 100 pounds. Right, they're insane. And that's another key component. We'll get to that. We'll do the, the uh, missing mechanism first. Okay. You have a governor right here, which is this assembly. Then, then weights. They're, they're actually there centrifugal weights. weights. Yeah. Okay. As the engine's rotating, the Let me put, rotates. I'm going to push in the valve just so it doesn't oh, have any compression. Excellent. All right, go ahead. All right. As the engine rotates, centrifugal force opens these weights up. Right. And there's a rod that runs through the center of the uh, spindle here, like an axle. Right. And come over here, and you can see the rod pushes a lever. Right, comes out there. Right, as the weights fly you see out. The, you see the lever moving? Okay, that, that moves. Right, and if you look here, this here's, is Now, here's your, that push rod I was telling you about. Right, here's the push rod. It's called your latch out block. Right. It's called your latch finger. As the weights fly out, when the engine speeds, they push the latch finger toward the latch block, and I'll rotate it again for you. And when it reaches speed, Pushes all the way out, and the latch finger holds the that, latch out. That latch lock. key will hold your push rod out, which holds your exhaust valve holds in. your exhaust valve open, which leaves no compression. No and, spark. Well, no, does it doesn't leave a spark? No, because we have your ignition timer on our push rod as okay. well, so we're not getting any spark. Okay. We're not getting any compression. Right. No fuel is being wasted. Right, it's not sucking, because you got no compression no or magic. suction, right. it's not sucking any fuel in. Now, I'll bring the flywheels up to speed a little bit. I'm holding the latch uh, finger with my finger. Okay, look, I, I'm trying to hold this in, but it's it's actually holding that valve open. Right. Okay. Now, I'll let go of the latch out finger. And it opens, and then and that'll be your ignition stroke. Again, right. right. Now this push rod also is where you, you time it. This this certain engine has a, a buzz coil on it and here's your igniter. But this little knob actually pushes this up and that gives you a spark. So that, that push rod actually, uh, without that push rod you're not doing nothing with this engine. Right. Okay. That's This is just one way that they have the, the centrifugal weights on it. And I'll show you on this other engine here. Whoop, watch your step there, Road King. Okay. This one actually has the the centrifugal weights on the outside, but they, they're all similar. They all have the, the same latch out mechanism, just different different styles. See? You see this one here? Here's your latch finger right here. Right and there. here's your latch block. Alright, you see that would latch right now, that would hook in. Let me uh, keep rotating. Simulate it, simulate it, Mike. Go ahead, rotate it. Okay. See, you see that now? now? Latched. Now it latched out. Now we're flailing. We have no compression. Sorry about this. I'm trying to. I'm trying to film and do this at the same time. But now that latch out is is holding our exhaust valve in on this machine too. We'll rotate it and then we'll let go. Hmm. Right there you go. There you go. And once it slows down, it it lets it go back. This one also has a buzz coil that I have hooked up here. But some of them don't. Let me show you on Mike's engine. He he likes mags, which are which are a little better because you don't need the battery and everything. But then then you have this little trigger, and this trigger uh, I'll rotate it pushes this. Go ahead, rotate that. And that trigger right there, that would have been a spark, and that that would ignite the spark plug. Okay. 
I'll, go, I'll show you once we get them running and everything. I'll take a picture of it and show you in action, and, and you'll you'll be able to see exactly what uh, what's going on. But I thought I'd run it because uh, a couple of my tubers, and some of them are uh, good mechanics, like uh, Sean Sean C Farms there up in Canada. You know he's a great mechanic, but he he had no idea how these operate because if you don't see it, you really don't know. But you know once you see how they operate, you realize what's going on. But that's cool. Another one of my subs too, uh, Jimbo there, Daddy Tech. He he was asking about them too. So I thought maybe I'd uh, do a little explaining. Okay. Mike, uh, Mike just started one up over here. Maybe I could tell you while it's. Maybe we can see where it's going. You see, here's his. Uh, there's his centrifugal weights there. Right now they're out. Did it stop, Mike? It did. Oh man. Cold morning. All right. I'll start it back up. Start up. Okay. There we go. It's cycling now. Now watch my last block right here. All right. I can't really see it. See, this is the darkest area on the whole. There we go. Here's the latch out mechanism. See, right now it's holding it, and then when the wheels slow down, it releases it. So that's uh, that's basically uh, what it is. So all, all uh, the push rod and the exhaust valve. See, right now it's holding it in, and then when the wheel slows down, it lets it go. So that's uh, that's basically how you do it. I hope uh, that explains a little bit to you guys. Thanks uh, for your help there, Mike. Take a bite of the tube. Alrighty. Talk to you guys later.